Guys, make Where sure that you get yeah. this. Go. Is that green lighting up? You see the light was Yeah. You want to see it? Okay, so oh Nekat, hot chicks need a sample, but can't. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that's one small one. Better two, better two. Okay, it's what you best part of your life. Two? Oh, two. Yes? It's widely known how decisive Azerbaijan's fleet of drones was to their victory over Armenia in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. As Azerbaijan pushed further into Armenian territory, Armenian soldiers took shelter from these drones under the cover of the forest. Between October 29th to 31st, Azerbaijan engaged in a sustained air assault using white phosphorus munitions to burn away the brush and kill the Armenians hiding within. White phosphorus is an extremely poisonous and combustible chemical weapon with a complicated standing in international law. While the munition has several legal military applications, others are considered a war crime. This documentary will follow a group of doctors from Armenia and around the world working to save the lives of those injured by white phosphorus. The extremely graphic nature of this footage isn't intended to be grotesque, but to provide incontrovertible proof that Azerbaijan was using this munition, a claim which they deny. Furthermore, we seek to find out why the international law that governs white phosphorus use isn't more stringent. The result of Azerbaijan being able to use this munition with impunity is an environmental and humanitarian catastrophe. Well, we, you have the Convention on the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. You have the Convention on the Prohibition of Conventional uh, Weapons, to which there's the protocol, the third protocol, which deals with incendiary weapons. And white phosphorus somehow slips through all the cracks.